okay so it's another beautiful day with another beautiful tutorial so in this video i'm going to be teaching you one of my most requested video <laughs> so we are going to be learning how to make panel canvas free okay so let's get started by cutting our wood this part is totally optional you can go to a sawmill and ask them to cut it for you you can ask your carpenter to do it for you so i have my wonderful husband helping me out to cut the wood today shout out to him thank you so much for helping me out as always okay so before we go further let me quickly explain um briefly this frame to us okay so it's it's in panel is in is in divided part i'm sure you've seen and the picture before and also the picture on the top now okay so there are also different ways of achieving this this one that we are going to do today we created the uh, the case as if you are creating mesh you see the way the mesh is then you start pulling your mesh it's just like the same way we are going to be creating this although our picture has been um, divided into different parts okay so let's get started i'm going to be explaining as we go further okay so this is our flex now you can also use sav for this so if you are using sav that means you won't be able to use you won't be able to create this kind of um casing that we created you will need to use plain plywood for this okay so you need to cut your plywood and the same uh, size with your artwork you understand what i mean <laughs> did you get it so in this case you are still going to you're going to use sav i'm sure you've seen one of my video where i make um use sav to create um frame so you are going to follow that so you're going to just um apply your sav on it you can laminate it or you can decide to leave it that way and you're going to you know just uh, gum it to the plywood so this one i'm doing you cannot use sav for it because we are going to be pulling it and you know sav has a uh, gum at the back you understand okay so now if you are a graphic design you will be a designer you should be able to do this take your picture and the picture that is usually very nice um for this frame there are these wide um, pictures okay something that has wide so that is going to be like a family picture like the like look at this picture i'm using is um is big dress okay so this is the big dress just you know expand and just occupy you know the space and it makes it to have a lot of panels okay so look for a picture that is a little bit wide so you have this effect okay so you have your graphic designer to help you divide the picture into the size that you want so the size i divided my two and the width is 5.5 .5 why the first length is 15 and the second i mean the first length is 19 the second length is um the second panel which is like two is um 17 why the last panel is uh, 15 okay so that's how the panels are so the first panel which is 19 is just one panel why the 17 panel is um that one is two and also the 15 panel is also two so you can make it as wide as, as in you can start from 30 30 a bit 28 26 as in as many panels as you can achieve or you can even make it smaller you can make it wider it can come in different different shapes and size it doesn't have to be in square i mean it doesn't have to be in um rectangle you can make yours to be in triangle for triangular form you can make yours to be in square form you know anyhow you just want it this part this frame is one of very is actually very interesting you understand <laughs> and the truth is it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so so beautiful and unique so beautiful and unique okay? so i'm using flares you can also use canvas okay so just know that when you are using canvas you are charging more because canvas is expensive okay canvas is actually expensive okay <laughs> so you're going to be used needing um a staple gun yeah if you don't have staple gun you can use tack need okay so we are creating our case now see the way the case is okay so you can use nail or tack nail because but i trust my 
I trust my <laughs> my staple gun and because the wood I'm using is not a strong wood, it's not a, a real wood, it's, it's, um, it's plywood and I also advise that you use real good wood. Go to a sawmill, let them uh, make real wood for you and uh, you can, you know, that will be very straight and nice. So that's why I'm using my staple gun and it's holding in firmly. So don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be saying, is it going to hold? Yes, it's holding well. I've I saw it's very it's holding firmly. Staple gun is very good. If you are if you are into craft and everything, you should have staple gun because you use it for a lot of things. Yeah, use it for a lot of things. So have it. So that's what I'm using. But if you don't have staple gun now, just go ahead and use a tack nail or a nail. And this is what we have. Look at the way our casing look like. Yeah, I can see the way it is. You see that? Are you getting the idea already? <laughs> okay, so I've created it. And um, so when you are cutting it by yourself, make sure they are equal. As in, it has to be equal. That is one of the things. If you know your hand is not straight or you don't have the capacity to cut it, it's not a must. Don't say, that me they cut it in a channel. I have to cut it. No. If you don't have... If you are not very good in cutting, please go to a, sh um, a, a carpenter shop or go to a sawmill. They are going to do it for you. When you are buying wood, uh, one wood should be like 900 or 1000. You know, when you cut it out, cut it out into the shape and also make sure you have your measurement before you go. Uh, there make sure you have your measurement okay so now that our casing is ready i'm just using my tack nail to do what to pull you see the way i'm pulling it and i make sure i pull it very well you see as if you are pulling mesh see <laughs> that uh, seriousness that you pull to when you are pu pulling mesh you understand when you are pulling mesh so you have to pull it very well and make sure that it is fair okay so if you don't want this um this uh uh the staple gun to show yeah some people may not want it to show you can you can decide to use gum you understand you can decide to use gum but uh if you are using flex if in case you don't want it to show any other thing you can just go ahead and just use plywood normal ply flat plywood the one that i explained before that i've taught you on this channel before cut it into this size of this case in that, that case you just use your sav to just cover it so you won't have any reason to be using staple gum to come to staple it it's going to be gum that you just used to go by the side okay so if you don't understand that this particular um video that i'm talking about i'm going to drop the link in the description box below it's just uh, one of the video that i've made using sav to create borderless free okay so just go ahead you have to do this part neatly and you make sure you are pulling well you know the emphasis i usually create and uh, make when uh, you are making your mesh i'll tell you that you have to pull it very well you don't want it to sag you want it to look firm and that is the beauty of it okay that is the beauty of it so this is what we have right now this is the first panel i love this frame so much it's so unique and so beautiful for you you may be asking how are you going to hang it to the wall yeah you don't have to because this is a very simple thing hmm? even you you can just start imagining how you're going to <laughs> how you're going to hang it to the wall so the first thing is you, you must you must make sure it's aligned with each other okay don't don't uh, the hand should not be down why it's supposed to be up make sure it's aligned see the way i'm arranging it make sure it's aligned together okay so when you align it together you can just um you, you can do it in different ways some people when they after delivering it they they tack everything together at the back you know you tack everything together at the back then they now hang the longest wall to the wall like they use a uh, nail to hang the longest one to the wall and uh, if you don't want to do it you can create a nail for each one of the keys okay each one of the keys then you make sure it is aligned that's another thing you have to make sure that it's aligned with the case okay 
so i'm sure you've enjoyed this video and uh, you love it as i'm loving it right now <laughs> you can also make flour or any other thing so i'll see you in my next one bye